Fans of the Batman, we finally have a small bit of news to break down, and I'm not joking around. A recent interview from Barry Keoghan has people thinking that Matt Reeves is at the very least going to give the Clown Prince of Gotham a cameo in the Batman Part 2. So let's talk about it. What's up everyone, and welcome back to Jones Vibes. Hit the like button if you feel like clowning around, and let's dive in. So my friends and fellow fans of the Batman, it's actually been a little while since I've done an update video on here, mainly because not a lot has changed. Most of the same rumors have been circulating, but I think once the script is reported as finished and we actually get some solid production dates, we'll probably start getting those casting announcements and hints at the plot. And so as things pick up, be sure to be checking in on the channel because I will be covering it all. But today, I'm solely just talking about an interview that Barry Keoghan did with E-Talk, and he was asked pretty directly if he would be in the Batman Part 2 reprising his role as the Joker, and he didn't give the clearest response, but his answer was very interesting. He said, I can't really say anything about it. But it would be exciting, wouldn't it? Seeing the Joker come to life again. My smile says it all. You know what that means. And just the way that he said all that, like you could tell that he was just hiding this excitement because who wouldn't want to talk about the fact that they are playing the Joker? Like that's insane. But he has to hold things close to the chest, obviously. And I think we can all kind of read between the lines here. Now, like I said, there hasn't been an official announcement at all. And we don't even know what's happening in this film yet. But there clearly have already been conversations had with Barry regarding coming back and I just think that there's probably a solid plan in motion and in my opinion the best way to do it and I've talked about this a little bit in the past but you know you have the Joker in part one and it's just kind of a tease and then in part two you give us a little more setting it up for him to be the centerpiece of part three because obviously this is Batman's most iconic villain he's one of the most iconic villains of all time and I know there's been a lot of talk about like overdoing it with the Joker there's been so much Joker content in the last decade or 50 15 years even but I still do think fans are gonna freak out when they see him anytime in any movie because it is the Joker and I'm not sure what you think about Barry Keoghan uh he's a pretty phenomenal actor we really just got a small snippet in the Batman you know you see him talking with Riddler and then we got that deleted scene which kind of dives a little bit more into the character and we get a better sense as to what his portrayal looks like but ever since the Batman this guy has just been crushing it in the film space Banshees of Inner Sheeran and now Saltburn like he's just someone who I think we can count on for a very interesting portrayal referencing that deleted scene again just his work alone opposite Robert Pattinson's Batman you get this sense that there is no fear there he holds the cards in his hand even though he's locked up and that's what's so amazing about this character it can really go in so many different directions but one thing remains the same it's always absolute chaos and I think in this epic crime saga as Matt Reeves calls it we're gonna see bruce's world absolutely crumble and be flipped upside down just like it was in the first movie but throughout this journey he's going to truly become the batman but you can't do that without the yin and the yang like the joker and batman just go together it's just amazing man like you mix barry's joker with the penguin and riddler and possibly clayface and harvey dent this movie is really shaping up to be something special but i will ask you guys what do you think the joker would be doing in this movie let me know i think that he's still mostly gonna be in Arkham. That's sort of what I'm thinking. And then maybe towards the end, there's some sort of escape, or maybe he's already escaped, and that's where the movie starts. I don't know. What I really love to see is just a real underground take of the Joker, where you have him surrounded by all these goons and, like, hired guns, a constant entourage who are just as crazy as him, because he's the clown prince of Gotham, you know? And so many iterations have done such a great job, but this is an opportunity to get real really, really dark. There's so much content to pull from in the comics that you just feel like the opportunities are endless there and that's why the Joker keeps coming back but with the DCU doing its own thing I think that's going to be pretty fantastical and we already know that the Batman is very grounded in reality but a David Fincher type reality and so it definitely opens the door for just some really really dark tones and a very interesting look at this character so yeah guys it should be awesome but like i said before this is just a quick news update i will definitely have more in-depth videos and longer videos at that on the batman coming soon so keep an eye out for those and also let me know your thoughts on the joker possibly being in the batman part two do you like this casting would you want him to be the main villain in the batman part two please let me know as well as hit that like button if you enjoyed this video that helps the channel a lot guys and i really appreciate it whenever you do that 
You can also give me a follow on X at Jones Vibes Only. And don't forget to keep up the good vibes, guys. But there is more Joker in the near future. So put a smile on that face. Jones Vibes.